This is the Technospark 8P. The direct successor to the Technospark 7P, which was released some months ago, and the second device in the Spark 8 lineup. That's because we are expecting a Spark 8 Pro. There's already the vanilla Spark 8, which I've reviewed, and I'll leave the link to that video in the description box. The Spark 8P is better than the Spark 7P in some ways. Yes, the display resolution got upgraded to a full HD panel, but got downgraded to a 60Hz refresh rate from the 90Hz on the Spark 7P. So that's like a lose-lose situation. And guess what? The higher 1080p or full HD resolution is basically all the upgrades there is on this new Techno Spark 8P. In fact, it came with more downgrades than upgrades. The screen size got shrunk. The processor department suffers a downgrade to Helo G35 from the Helo G70 on the Spark 7P and it still has a micro USB 2.0 connector. However, the existence of a 50 megapixel AI primary camera is one of Spark 8P's most exciting features a 2 megapixel portrait lens and a third AI depth sensor, as well as four LED flashes are included with the sensor. On the front, the device has a single 8 megapixel primary lens for selfies. Admittedly, it came with a better design, a refreshed look, and it came in some inspiring colors to give your personality a spark. You saw what I did there, right? Spark 8P gives your personality a spark. Spark 8P, Spark 8 personality. What's up guys, it's Victor here again and this is my unboxing and first impression or review of the Techno Spark 8P. The Techno Spark 8P came bundled in a very familiar box, the same color and size we saw on the Spark 7P and Spark 8 and it's Apple iPhone inspired. But this one is not without a charging brick. In fact, they included a special charging brick, a compact charger with a UK plug that can be collapsed just like what we get on Samsung devices with UK plugs. I might be wrong, but I think this is the first time Techno is shipping a device with this type of charging brick and they highlighted it in the pack. Other things that they are proud of to highlight is the 50 megapixel camera, 1080p full HD display, speedy 8 core processor, which is in fact the MediaTek G35 chip. 5000mAh battery, a side mounted fingerprint sensor and super boost for system optimization. We'll surely see what that means in a bit in this video so stay tuned. Opening the compact orange box, we have the phone steering. In the next compartment is the 12 plus 1 moon warranty card, then a silicon phone case with a loose fit. There is another box that houses the SIM tool, a pair of wired earpieces and a USB 2.0 cable. Like I mentioned earlier, I love the design of this phone and this is one of the originals from Techno. The colors are fun to look at and this color here is Tahiti Gold color. It comes in other colors like Coco Gold and some other exciting names that you surely like to see. It is a plastic phone which is kind of a good thing when you think of durability. The back has this glossy section or cutout that gives it a modern accent but it is almost impossible to keep this section clean because it's a nice fingerprint smudge magnet. The three cameras are also well arranged in this section. The Spark 8P also came with the same moniker as the Spark 8. Stop at nothing. The top edge was left clean and tidy with no ports, buttons or sensors. The right side has the volume rockers and the fingerprint sensor and I love the placement of the side mounted sensor because it is easy to reach while holding your phone with one hand. The button has the microphone, the 3.5mm headphone jack, micro USB 2.0 port and the speaker grill unlike the Spark 8 that doesn't come with the loudspeaker but uses the ERP speaker for both calls and media playback. Let me know if you want to see a side by side comparison of the Spark 8P and the vanilla Spark 8. Let me know in the comments below. The left edge has the SIM card tray that can take two nano SIMs and one SD card. The display is a 6.6 .6 inches IPS panel with a full HD plus resolution. It got downgraded from 90Hz on the Spark 7P to 60Hz here. However, the display is nice with vibrant colors and overall good color reproduction. The fingerprint sensor on the side is fairly fast and accurate. No issues here or complaints either. There is a mono speaker setup here and it is way louder than the Spark 8 without a last speaker grill. The sound quality isn't great but it's loud enough and this is how it sounds compared to the Techno Spark 8. This is also what the microphone quality sounds like. What's up guys, it's Victor here again and this is a microphone test of the Techno Spark HP. I am currently holding the phone the same way I will be holding the phone when making a phone call. The Techno Spark HP is powered by the MediaTek Hello G35 
paired with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 or 128 gigs of storage memory. Even though it's a downgrade when compared to the Techno Spark 7P, it's a massive leap from the Spark 8 which has an unknown 1.8 GHz processor and 2 gigs of RAM. This one here has an octa-core processor, a known G35 processor that we know to be very capable in terms of gaming and it also comes paired with 4 gigs of ram and 128 gigs of storage space but i ran geekbench here and got a single core score of 156 and a multi core score of 826. the spark 8p is powered by a 5000 milliamps hour battery battery life on the spark 8 which is also powered by a 5000 milliamps hour battery is fantastic so i'm also expecting the power here or the battery life here to also be very very good I've not fully tested the battery, I'll be sharing my experience in a later video, so be subscribed and ring the bell to be notified when I post that video or any other video. The software here is exactly what we have on this pack 8, high OS 7.6 and Android 11 with lots of extra and unwanted apps and lots of ads. The Techno Spark 8P has a 50 megapixel main camera sensor. On the front, the Techno Spark 8P has a punch hole in the display with an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The smartphone has a triple camera on the rear, and the main sensor is a 50 megapixel, as I mentioned earlier. The sensor is paired with a 2 megapixel portrait lens and a third AI depth sensor, along with four LED flashes. And here are samples straight out of the Techno Spark 8P. There is no stabilization, dynamic range, and that is the sun, the sun that lights up our planet. <laughs> As far as pricing goes, the Techno Spark 8P falls nicely just right in between the entry level to mid budget price range. The 64 gigs variant currently retails for 77,000 Nigerian Nairas or 135 US dollars, while the 128 gigs retails for 86,000 Nigerian Nairas or 155 US dollars. For the specs and features the part, I feel they are well priced, even though this is arguably a downgrade, you know, coming from the Techno Spark 7P in every sense of the word. So that has been my review and unboxing of the Techno Spark 8P. If you want to know more about the Techno Spark 8, which I reviewed some time ago, please watch this video. So thank you guys for watching this one. Please remember to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. Also give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and I know it was helpful. Also ring the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video like this one or any other video. And I'll see you when I see you in the next one.